It's my feel good breakfast show. Welcome back. You tune in to your feel good breakfast show. This is Expressa only on SABC3. Thank you for choosing to start your Thursday morning with us right here on SABC3. Now, we've been running a very exciting series here on your Feel Good Breakfast Show with regards to property, especially if you are a first-time home buyer. Now, this morning's episode is all about your wish list. What do you want your property to look like? And also, the excitement around those houses that's on show. Well, if you're looking for properties, you probably have your wish list set up already. But once you've got your wish list set up with properties you're interested in, how do you now narrow it down to make sure that you are choosing the right properties? Now, once this is done, there is an exciting journey of viewing houses. Now, we have private property CEO Simon Bray in studio to tell us a little bit more. Simon, I'm so excited to talk through the different properties I've chosen. Um, you know, it is an exciting process, but I think, you know, how do you eventually narrow it down well this is the best part this is the fun part you know you start with thousands and thousands of properties you get to choose which one suits your lifestyle which suits your budget uh, and then you slowly narrow down the list and you pick the features that are perfect for you uh, so this is the exciting part. This is the exciting part. And I uh, have to say, I went onto Private Properties website. I saw two different ones that I'm interested in. And for me, location is key. So I thought um, perhaps you can <laughs> shed some light. Uh, this is, for example, a three-bedroom apartment in Morningside. Um, what are some of the things we need to look out for? Location is the most important thing about property because you can't move it. Uh, so you've got to pick the right neighborhood. You've got to pick the right suburb. Morningside's a beautiful suburb in Johannesburg. Uh, nice value option. I mean, talking about a three-bedroom apartment, uh, all of the right features in a property like this. 2.2, uh, .2, you might get it a bit better than that if you negotiate well. So I'd say that's a good price for the area. Is that something you can do, is negotiate on of a course. price that's advertised? Of course. You know, these are the asking prices for the property. And the South African property market is fascinating in that respect. You'll advertise it at, at a price. But ultimately, it's a willing buyer, willing seller. Now, let's talk about some of these hidden things we're seeing here. I'm seeing rates and I'm seeing a levy fee. Yeah. What does that mean? Well, those are critically important components of what you're going to end up spending as a new owner of that property. So, of course, there's the purchase price, and you're probably going to fund that through some sort of uh, home loan. Mm -hmm. uh, and then you've got other costs, the rates, which you're paying council, uh, which is effectively the tax on the property, and the levy, which is what you're paying to maintain and upkeep this in the block. So that's something you need to keep in mind because that will be a monthly expense. Exactly. Oh, yeah. okay. Now the second one I saw is, uh, this one's actually a one bedroom apartment. It's in uh, Sandown, and, but the price is a lot more than the previous <laughs> one, it's 2.7 million. Yeah. No, this is a beautiful apartment. Um, Sandown is a lovely area. I mean, you can't go wrong when you're right in the middle of Santon. Uh, for working professionals, this is perfect. You know, you're going to be close to the car train, close to the, your office, presumably. Uh, really good investment property down the line. We've narrowed it down to two properties. I want to now go and view them. What's the best way to go about it? One of the things that people forget is that a lot of these properties are on show. or They open them up over the weekend uh, and the real estate agent will be there to meet with you and you can go at your leisure on a Sunday and view the property. So we've got a section on the site specifically for on-show listings. Uh, and so it's worth, you know, spending a Sunday morning, have a little breakfast and then hit the road and go and see a few of these houses. Alternatively, you can call the agent, uh, you know, yes. click the big button at the bottom. Big red button. <laughs> and, uh, and set an, ap an appointment and then they'll take you through the property with a private viewing, which is always good. It's always better to go and actually see what it's like. Uh, to walk through the door, do you have that emotional connection with the space? Is that ultimately your property? Okay. Well, Simon, thank you so much for this information. We'll definitely keep it all in mind. Now, next week, we will be talking through uh, the process of viewing properties along with agents and exactly how to go about it and what you should be looking for. Now, are you looking for your dream home? Well, visit privateproperty.co.za and explore and discover a house you can call home. Whether it's your first apartment in the city, a trendy suburban townhouse, or that dream family home on a golf estate, there's a home for everyone on private property.